Hello people, this is Bear from Bear Wave, and uh, as promised, uh, we're here with the crypto report. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it weekly, bi-weekly, daily. Might not do it daily, uh, but as I said in the previous video on the stock market, the US market, uh, which you can go check it out um, if you want, as the NASDAQ is currently trained train at 4% uh, off. Um, during pre-market hours, which is uh, pretty interesting, uh, quite a red day. Uh, it's been a hell of a weekend, and uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, Bitcoin, which, as you can see, um, it's currently 11% down. So we're going to take a look at what's happening, what could be happening, as usual, using the yellow way theory. Now, before we get started, one last thing, as I said, I'll, I'll try to be more consistent. So if you want to stay updated, I'll recommend you guys subscribe as well as if you want to join the Discord. Uh, it's absolutely free. Uh, I don't sell any course, uh, nor I think I, I plan to. And um, you can find the link down below in the description of this video. Uh, just don't try to impersonate myself because uh, Discord is very small. So I will find you and I will ban you. Now, what is happening with Bitcoin as usual? Uh, I will try to work the count together. So hopefully uh, you can uh, try to understand my thinking process and uh, maybe you, you learn something from it. Uh, maybe you don't. Maybe you correct me and you make me realize I'm doing something absolutely uh, idiotic. Now, so as you can see here, uh, we're on the weekly. Uh, so to be fair, everything that happened here is pretty much, uh, I mean, <laughs> I think we, you know, need to take this data with a pinch of salt, um, and uh, you don't really develop a, a pretty clear price action up until uh, 20, 2011. Um, so it's, you know, as everything in the early stages, it, it is quite, uh, you know, there's not many market participants, and um, you will see it in the chart. Um, so that out of the way, um, I mean, this is pretty useless. So my best guess is a one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Now I was calling a bottom in place here in wave four. Could we have something like this? Yes, uh, it is possible, um, especially as if this is a wave four uh, that pairs up with this wave two. This wave two was sharp, hence you would expect, you should expect a sideways wave four because of alternation, right? Um, and as a matter of fact, if, if you look at the trend channel here, uh, you, we still have room, downside room, for this to happen. Now, will it happen? I have no clue. As always, if I knew, I wouldn't be telling you and I wouldn't be here. Uh, so, But that's a possibility. Uh, if we take a look at volume, I mean, we've, we, we have been moving up with um, increased volume, which is interesting. Um, and at the pivot, at the top, uh, that was quite some volume there. Uh, but we'll take a look at this, you know, the short time frame count in just a second as we enter the daily chart. chart. Uh, but I still want to, to take a look at this to see what's happening. Um, so that's one scenario. Another scenario is the possibility we have this wave 4 here. And we might have top in wave 5. And we could be expecting this. Now, overall, I do remain bullish. Uh, don't get me wrong. For the, let's call it long term, I do remain bullish. I, do, I don't think and I don't see any evidence uh, to turn into a more bearish uh, or extremely conservative scenario. However, I wouldn't be surprised if we get to 20,000 uh, in the 20,000 area. Uh, I wouldn't like that, uh, but the fact that I wouldn't, you know, um, I wouldn't like that uh, doesn't mean it's not going to happen, unfortunately. Um, I wish if I didn't like something, uh, I, you know, it, it didn't have to, to occur. It didn't have to uh, happen. Now, that being said, uh, you know, could you move with this way for here? Can't, you could. Um, uh, but at that point, uh, would you be left with what? Another one, two? So you'd be left here with a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It's extremely bullish. So the problem with this, the way I see it, is for the long term, I mean, as long as it pulls back uh, to the downside, uh, so every move to the downside, as long as it keeps looking corrective, we can expect for the downside. Uh, but I think it's it's really hard to, to to understand what the you know the best guess when it comes to the wave count is, uh, mainly because of how new Bitcoin is. 
um, because remember, this is 15 years old. We have, again, if we only consider the actual good data, we have 14 years of decent data from year onwards. Um, and, uh, you know, if you take a look at the, if you take a look at the NASDAQ, for instance, which is, look at how, how much history we have. If you take a look at the first 10 years of the NASDAQ, so 85 till 95, that's what you had, right? Would you have guessed that that's what, what you could have gotten after 40 years? Uh, so that's the point I'm trying to make here. Uh, this is a relatively new financial instrument. Um, hence, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to, to understand uh, and try to predict what it's going to do in the long term. Uh, but we'll try to make our best guess for, for the time being. Now, here, I think it's time to delete a few things. Uh, I apologize for the mess. Uh, training view doesn't really uh, help. Uh, and, you know, it always moves uh, waves. Um, here and there. So here, as you can see, the best count was a complex down into cycle four, which I was calling about. Now, uh, assuming for now, we're going to assume uh, that wave four is actually in place, which is possible. Uh, so I want to um, uh, quickly go over two main counts that I see. One is this one. Uh, let me bring in some folders. So one is this one where you have This would be primary. Let's make it this, and I, I, I need to start changing coloring colors. Um, anyways, one, two, three, four, five. Truncated fifth, um, which actually uh, it wouldn't be bad. Uh, you will be just shy of one plus six, one eight, uh, three, intermediate three against one, which is actually pretty good. Uh, truncated fifth, rare but not impossible. And you can count actually five ways here. You can also count as a three of move though. And now downside into what could be either wave two or wave A of two. So it could even be like this, or we could just be into wave eight. Now, um, before I do any damage, uh, forgive me this for uh, 30 seconds so I can save all of this into a nice folder so that we have it for, I think what's this one? Okay, so I'm gonna call it primary one done. Primary one done. Okay, so for the next update, which I promise is gonna come um, in a matter of days, um, we have it here ready. Now, that being said, that's another, okay, so let me take a look at, so let's get rid of this. Let's get rid, of, get, rid, get rid of a few things. So this was also what um, one of the possibilities. Uh, now, it doesn't really matter uh, too much if you count this as a leading diagonal or at just a motive wave. Um, you just need to move a few things over. Um, but it, it, what matters is if this is a one, two, three, four, five, and now we are into this um, intermediate wave four. Um, so this would be some sort of way A, B, C. Now, actually, and uh, I give credit for this count to um, the Yellow Wave Universe. Uh, if you want to go check them out, uh, they do these on YouTube in German. I try to talk them out of it, uh, told them to make it in English. Uh, but they do have a Discord where they salt in English. So if you want to join, um, jo first join my Discord and then join theirs. Um, I'm not going to lie, there's more active, but uh, I'm working on it. Um, anyways, um, so it actually makes, uh, it looks better if you move it, we want you move it here, uh, because then you have a sideways wave two, pairing up to a sharp wave four. Makes more sense. So in an L wave term, this makes sense. And you will need uh, a further upside into wave five. Now, um, in order for this count to uh, not really get compromised, obviously you have weight kind of validation with overlap of uh, one and four. However, if you look at fib relationships, we are s we're sitting here, uh, let me zoom in a bit, at 1.618 wave four against wave two, which is a common target, um, especially when we have an extended third. So if we stop here, which 
it's a big if um, we may fall back lower into the 440,000 uh, average it's possible um, then um, that's what uh, it would be ideally we um, that's where we could find a bottom um, I wouldn't like this to turn into a sideways correction because if you know that's the case we already have way too but however if we turn into sideways correction then it might suggest that we had a, a diagonal on wave one and a sharp wave two so that's also true uh, nonetheless uh, last but not least if we take a look at wave relationships C against A here a bit lower we we just surpassed equality and um, that's another co common target for wave C's to be um, equal in length with wave A so let's see what's happening uh, we're already seeing something happening over this more over on the session looks like we're trying to go lower it's going to be interesting what is going to happen once the US market opens which as you saw uh, yeah, it was this morning during London session. It was down five percent. Uh, the Nasdaq, uh, three percent. The S and P, uh, think about two percent. The Dow, uh, but not not all stocks are crashing. Uh, let's be clear. And um, maybe uh, I'll try to make tomorrow's video about that. Uh, big tech is crashing, um, whereas some stocks, uh, you know, were value stocks. Uh, I'm thinking about Coca Cola. I'm thinking about Kellogg. Um, I'm thinking about UNH United Health Group. Uh, they're actually going up. They're not only they're holding, but they're going up. Coca-Cola is now trading at all-time highs, uh, while um, you know, Apple, Nvidia, other stock, other stocks are going down. So let's be clear: big tech is going down. I mean, after the spike up, uh, you know, if you see, I know it's violent. This is a violent move down, uh, but it's 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 good if you want to buy because it brings fear into the market, and um, gotta buy fear. Now that's not financial advice. Uh, but um, that's usually what they tell you to do. That's all, what all the gurus will tell you to do, uh, right? Um, anyways, that's what I see basically for Bitcoin. The two main counts. Uh, again, credit for to Airwave Universe to for this count, um, which I actually hadn't thought about because I'm not a big fan myself of truncated fifth. Now the question is, what if there's no truncated fifth? So there's a case for um, a sharp two and a sideways four. Um, but the problem with that is um, this move up here. This move up here looks like a. Th I mean, it mainly looks like a three wave move, right? If you place way three here, so that's a problem. Uh, it, 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 you know, if you want to put, if you want to label this, actually, let's get rid of this count. So let's do this. So once again, I need to be okay. So let's do this maybe. And can I put? No, I cannot. Nope. Just a second. Um. So, I'm, yeah, that's one thing I would recommend you guys doing. Always be. Uh, have a clean uh, count, uh, not all, also in the object tools. Uh, again, trading view. No, I'm not gonna say, uh, or else I'll get banned. Now that being said, so I'm gonna leave that. Uh, I this rename this. I'm gonna call it uh, four in the making. Okay, and uh, I am going to make a new count. Um, again, I, I want to place it here with. Um, motive wave here into wave one uh, the question is too uh, is this possible basically that's what i'm saying so it will make more sense if wave one was here to have a sideways four um and uh, the, the question is can we count this as five wave and it is a good question it's a hell of a good question um if you wanna put a one two three, four, five, I guess you could. It would be kind of forced given how tiny this wave one is. Uh, and you would have, you know, compared to wave one, super extended third and fifth. Um, actually, three and five would be pretty much the same length, but they would, you know, compared to one it would be just a joke. So I gotta, gotta be honest on that. Um, 
I wonder though if if you do this one, two, three, four, and five, this will look a bit nicer, wouldn't it? Um, so I think I'm going to also create this, and I'm going to call it um, four large four in the making. Awesome. So I think that's also another viable um, alternate. Um, Again, here you could simply label one, two, three, four, and five. Um, here, once again, you would have a nice almost 1.618 uh, intermediate three against one, as you can see. Um, and here you could simply have down in A, up in B, down into A, C. So as you can see on the short term, um, even though I said w this way four may not uh, be done, I still remain bullish. I still hold to this longer term count until uh, the market proves me wrong, which it may happen. We'll see. I think this week is going to be interesting. Uh, we may see. I wonder if we are going to buy back all this um, red here today or during today's session. It's possible. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, and uh, in the grand scheme of things, however, of uh, thinking about what is going on with the NASDAQ and what I talked about in uh, yesterday's video, um, you know, expecting something like this to then continue higher, um, it would also actually, I mean, it would make sense for Bitcoin to follow the NASDAQ and do something like this itself, maybe this. As always, I guess we'll find out. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Hope to see you in the Discord. Once again, big credits for to the other wave universe. And um, subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you want to see more, I'll try to be as consistent as possible. You have my word. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.